Introducing the new 3.5 inch gold digger paddle tail. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am that we are now offering a new darker profile 3.5 inch paddle tail. In addition to our Slam Shady that we know is tried and true, we have designed this gold digger paddle tail with a black body and a lot of gold flake into it to be the go-to lure for dirty water and murky water scenarios. Guys, Tony and I recently took this on the water. We got into some really nice redfish over on the flats in muddy, dirty water in really, really bright, sunny skies where these fish are super picky, they happily slurped up this gold digger. I'm really excited to share with you why we designed this lure and a couple different techniques that you can rig it to go out and be really successful in your next trip. So just like our Slam Shady 2.0, we designed this lure to be 3.5 inches in length to perfectly mimic a finger mullet, mud minnow, a little shrimp, really any bait fish in the mud or in the grass. And we also made sure that these lures come coated with our custom scent that we use on our Slam Shady 2.0 that's been really successful. And we wanted to design this lure to be black with gold flake because all of our research and articles that we've read, especially the book What Fish See by Dr. Colin, proves that fish pick up on contrast and silhouette very, very well. And black with a little bit of gold flake is going to be seen a lot further away than any other color combination. So that's where we found that this gold digger excels in dirty and murky water scenarios. I think this would even work really well in clear water scenarios. I've been using dark profile lures for a while when sight fishing to red fishing clear water too, and I've done very, very well. So I am super excited to rig this up in a couple different scenarios, and I'm going to show you guys right now. So here on the table, we have a pack of our new gold digger, and we have a couple different sizes of hooks. So in front of you, I have a 3 aught 16th ounce owner twist lock hook. This is what we recommend if you're going to be fishing around any kind of structure, and you just want a general go-to hook for a weedless application. The 3 aught 16th ounce owner weighted twist lock is a good length and a good weight to match up on the gold digger. So if you're fishing really shallow water, I say less than two feet of water, I would say start with the 3 aught 16th ounce. This is what we've been using for a long time on our Slam Shady 2.0. We've caught a lot of redfish, trout, and flounder on this combination right here. So that little spring up front twists into the head and you just bury the hook in the slit underneath this paddle tail. We've designed a slit that helps hide the hook a little bit easier. And after you slide that head on, you twist that head on, and you slide the hook through the body and the material, you can just pinch the, the material and pull the hook right over top of it, and now you have a perfectly weedless application. This works really well over grass, around docks, oyster bars. This is kind of our go-to, is rigging on a weedless weighted hook. But also, guys, if you're fishing over mud or sand or around oysters, I really like using a jig head. So I have the Z-Man Trout Eyes jig head. This is just a quarter ounce model. And I like these trout eyes because they have a little bit of a shorter shank hook. So it's not going to impede all the action you have here into the tail that we've designed. So really easily, you just try to mark. I always put my paddle tail up against a jig head to see where that hook's going to come out at. Kind of mark it with my thumb. Get an idea. It's about halfway down the body. Push it in. Go about halfway down. Pop that hook right out and then slide it over top of all the barbs. And you have a perfect little lure that imitates a shrimp or a mud minnow bouncing in and out of mud. I mean, just looking at that right there, I, I would use that all day long. I would bounce that around potholes, around oyster bars. This is going to be a deadly combination, guys. So always keep in mind that whatever hook you choose to use should be matched appropriately to where you're fishing and what types of conditions you're fishing. For the most part, going to an owner weighted twist lock hook, whether it's a three aught in 16th ounce or eighth ounce size, or a four aught in eighth ounce size, this is what actually what I was using uh, when sight fishing for that redfish in the lagoon. Um, both sizes work perfectly fine. I think the three aught is a little bit better because it's a little shorter, but the four aught does work as well if that's all that you have. Uh, and in terms of jig heads, 
really just match your jig head weight size to the depth that you're gonna be fishing. I found that in two feet of water and less, eighth ounce or 16th ounce weighted twist locks or an eighth ounce jig head is usually the go-to. The deeper you get, if you're gonna be fishing two to four or two to five feet of water, I found that a quarter ounce is a good size. Sometimes a three sixteenth ounce would be good as well. And anything deeper than about four or five feet, I would go to a three eighths ounce size. We have it by Mission Fishing. Um, so you have a lot of different options that you can rig this lure to be successful. Just make sure that you rig them up appropriately. If you're gonna be fishing around structure, like mangroves, docks, oysters, and you don't wanna have to worry about snagging, I would go with a weighted owner twist lock hook. If you're gonna be fishing open water scenarios, like around potholes, uh, muddy bottom, up against the shoreline, I would prefer to go with a jig head, that exposed hook, you're not gonna have to worry about snagging anything out in the open, and it's just gonna allow that lure to bounce up and down on the bottom a lot easier. Another cool trick you can do with the gold digger is, on days where fish are really picky and they're just milling around and you see them and you just can't seem to get them to bite, I actually take off the tail of this lure. So really, it is a two-in-one style lure. So if the paddle tail's just not cutting it, I love throwing this black silhouette and taking an owner weighted twist lock hook and rigging it weedless. Guys, this has been a deadly combination when I want to sight fish to redfish that are super, super picky. I've been doing this thing for years and to have it now in a color combination with that dark body and a little bit of gold flake, I see this working really well. I'm always gonna have this rigged up for any future redfish tournament that I do and I think it's gonna work very well for you guys. So if you want a lure that's gonna consistently catch big fish in dirty water scenarios, definitely pick up a couple packs of this gold digger. I'm always gonna make sure I head out with a couple packs of these on me. It's gonna come in really handy when those fish are super picky and I wanna seal the deal. Guys, get yourself some. We know you're not gonna be disappointed. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll start catching more fish in less time. And we do this by providing you with premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. So to learn more, go to saltstrong.com, and we'll see you in the Insider Family soon.